Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and this video is to answer a number of questions that have been popping up on my various YouTube feeds and that is about my Sigfig which we can see in front of us right now. Okay guys so I think most of you have worked out which are the main minifigures which this Sig fig is made up of, but I just wanted to do this quick video just to explain to you um, how he is made and kind of why, really, and how this represents me as a Sig fig. So, first of all, let's just spin him around there so you can see that front view and around to the side and the rear. We can see there's no printer on the prints on the rear of this one. It's the main printing really is that tattooed arm there and then obviously at the front his front suit piece okay guys there we go so now we can see the parts that really go towards making up my sig fig so the main components or the main uh, minifigures used are this one here which is the motorcycle mechanic and this is from the collector collectible minifigure series uh, 10 so the series 10 um, and the other one is the businessman and this is from series 8 um, and trust me to pick one which um, seems to be quite rare and hard to get hold of and quite expensive so these average I don't know probably ran about four pounds here in the UK to try and get hold of these now um, and there's not that many of them either um, but anyway there we go and the other component is this mini figure head here which is kind of a miscellaneous head um, got that on Bricklink so I will show you the Bricklink part for that now okay there you go guys so hopefully you can see that so this is uh, mini fig head glasses with dark blue sunglasses closed mouth light brown sideburns and goatee pattern um, the reason I chose this minifigure head um, is probably two reasons really. One, um, I like sunglasses. I have quite a large collection of sunglasses, but here in the UK we don't get to wear them that often. But hey, it's great when the sun does come out. Um, and I haven't got a goatee as such, but I do tend to kind of have quite a lot of stubble, which this minifigure head does have two. So kind of represented me, all the closest kind of fit to me really. So that's the story behind that minifigure head. Okay guys, so I thought I'll actually just show you how I just make this actually. So I'm just gonna very quickly make one of my sig figs now. So let's get these accessories out of the way first. We don't use any of the accessories that come um, with either the motorcycle, motor, sorry, motorcycle mechanic or the businessman. Zoom that out, so get that out of the way. So, first thing we use is the arms of the motorcycle mechanic. So, this is just simply a case of carefully removing the arms, like so. Out of the way. So, now we have our arms there. Obviously, the next thing I need to do is remove the arms from the businessman. Let me take those off. Again, carefully so then we now have his legs and torso like so and then put the arms from the motorcycle mechanic onto the businessman torso like that and then obviously replace the businessman's head with my sig fig head like that and then finally the bowler hat. I've kept the bowler hat there. So there we go guys. So that is a destination Lego Sig Fig all assembled. Okay, and just to explain why this particular Sig Fig, I've explained the face. So first of all, if we start with the businessman element of it, um, I have to wear a suit um, in the job I do and do class myself as a businessman. Um, I'm actually a director in an engineering organization so fairly senior position within the organization um, the bowler hat I've kept the bowler hat because bowler hat is synonymous with um, Britain really kind of the UK um, and I guess really in London kind of Savile Row etc 
Um, and again, I live just outside London and work mainly within London. Um, the tattooed arm, I think a lot of people would have picked up that I do have, um, probably would have picked up one of my tattoos, but I do actually have two. Um, and on his left arm on this one, he has obviously a red and black tattoo and kind of going to break with my code of practice now. And just zooming out now, just so I can show you if you can pick it up actually. On my left arm, I do actually have a red and black tattoo. Um, so yeah, I hope you can pick some of that up there. Well, there we go. So there is a lot of logic um, with regards to why this sig fig. So I did put a little bit of thought into it. Um, so hopefully that obviously explains now how I came up with this sig fig. So I think I've pretty much covered everything on it. Okay guys, last thing I wanted to share with you was my sig fig case, which I've created, which we can see here. So there's all parts and pieces for my um, sig fig. Kind of got the old sig fig army going. So down in this section here are completed sig figs. Um, there I've got some businessmen. Uh, there are a huge amount of motorcycle mechanics. They're the ones that I've taken the arms off. There's the uh, heads for my sig fig. Um, at the back here we have um, some of the accessories there. And over to there, and if I lift these trays out, you can see the spare arms there from the businessman and the spare heads from the businessman too. So, obviously the sig fig I've just made. There's those pieces now, so the motorcycle mechanic goes in there. Uh, the briefcase goes in there with those briefcases. The rather cool printed newspaper goes in there the spanner or wrench goes in there and then just lifting those trays out again obviously we have our spare arms they go in there and then finally the original businessman head goes in there and then finally, the latest addition to the Sig Fig Army now goes in there. And the base plates um, I keep there. So that's it for my little Sig Fig case. Okay, so there we go. So hopefully that explains my Sig Fig, how he's made, and obviously the reasons why I chose that particular design. Um, hopefully you did like this video guys, if you did give it a big thumbs up, please go ahead and give me some feedback on my sig fig down in the comments section, let me know what you think. Um, and as always any questions etc, any other comments are always welcomed, if you haven't done so already please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!